just that we have a bright future. I mean, it's frustrating not playing for anything again and, and kind of having that long summer that we've had before. Uh, you know, but I think everyone's kind of looking at next year already and we're kind of showing what we're capable of at times this season, especially the last seven games. So I think, uh, I think we got some real good stuff ahead. So is there more a sense of optimism going into this offseason? Yeah, uh, you know, like I said, a couple of things go our way or maybe one or two changes. And I think we're we're in the playoffs this year. So um, I am definitely can't wait to get back next year. What are some of those changes? Um, could be anything. I mean, could be picking up, a, a you know, another D-man, um, a couple of veteran guys. And I mean, even even some of the games this year. I mean, we're we were right there, um, just limiting those, those three and four game slid or slides. Uh, um, you know, a couple bounces for and we're in the playoffs. So I don't think we're far away. Brian, you look at the look at people's our team's records and 39 wins for you guys. Very close to other playoff teams with 40, 41 wins. Clearly, the difference is that extra point. Is that what you're kind of alluding to with the kind of in a lot of games we need to kind of Yeah, finish them I up? mean, exactly. I mean, we score enough goals and, you know, we won quite a few games, but it's those losses and those goals against are the biggest thing. Um, we got to get better defensively, I think, is the main, the main concern. I don't think this team's ever going to have a problem uh, getting offense and scoring goals, I think. Yeah, we just need to get better defensively and work on keeping the puck out of the hand. Everyone right. talks about the younger guys, the, the guys that are coming up, but there's that core veteran leadership group that's been around here for quite some time. How much faith do you have in your group to be able to help nurture those guys and, and essentially you have to be the guys that push this team over the top into the playoffs? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say we're the, we're the guys that are going to push them over the top because these guys are uh, growing up fast and they're becoming leaders on their own. I mean, some of... Uh, some of the best players on our team are, are the youngest, so um, you know I think it's it's I think they need to grow up fast and, and become leaders, and I think they're doing a good job of that. And they're so, um, yeah, I mean he, he's probably one of the best coaches I've ever had. So I think the whole team's behind him, and and you know he has the attention of, of the room, and um, you know he, he's going to be the the big part of uh, the de development of this team. So. Or behind him for sure. What are his strengths as a coach, Brian? Uh, I think just how smart he is. He's been around the game for a long time, been coaching for a long time. Um, he's just probably one of the smartest coaches I've, I've had. And, um, you know, when he gives you advice or says something to you, you take that to heart and you listen. So, um, you know, I've had coaches before where. You know, they, they couldn't get that attention from players or guys kind of brushed them off. But, you know, he's definitely got the attention of everyone in the room.